His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, met at Gudebia Palace today with UK Ambassador to Bahrain, Mr. Martin Simon. His Royal Highness affirmed a keenness to strengthen bilateral relations and enhance them with more investment and economic, cultural, educational and technological cooperation. He commended the existing cooperation in facing current threats to the region through further international cooperation in combating terrorism and preserving global security and stability. The Prime Minister noted the role of British expertise in Bahrain's development process, calling to reinforce joint cooperation in the commercial and economic fields and expand opportunities for more joint projects between Bahraini and British companies. In regards to regional and international developments, His Royal Highness pointed out security and stability were the pillars of development, highlighting Bahrain's effective role in supporting the efforts of brotherly and allied countries to preserve regional security and stability. For his part, the ambassador expressed pride in the historic relations between the two countries and a high appreciation for the Bahraini government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. He confirmed his country's keenness to strengthen joint cooperation, especially in the economic and investment fields, and noted the level of joint coordination in all fields, highlighting Bahrain's efforts to preserve regional security and stability. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa met at Gudebia Palace today with the Duke of Westminster, Gerald Cavendish Grosvenor, at Gudebia Palace. Welcoming the Duke to Bahrain, His Royal Highness highlighted the long-standing and historic ties between Bahrain and the United Kingdom and noted their steady and continued growth. In this regard, His Royal Highness noted that the growth of relations is aligned with His Majesty the King's aspirations to further strengthen bilateral ties in order to advance the interests of both nations. His Royal Highness went on to outline ways in which bilateral relations could be developed across a range of sectors with a specific focus on economic trade and culture. In response, the Duke of Westminster expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and highlighted Bahrain's growth and development over the last decade across a range of sectors. The Duke went on to thank His Royal Highness for his continued support to the bilateral relationship and stressed the importance of finding ways to further strengthen Bahraini-UK ties. His Majesty the King's representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympics Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, attended today the closing ceremony of the Ironman Championship in South Africa. His Highness hailed Bahrain's Endurance 13 member Ben Hoffman's achievement of first place and, the team, and Bahrain's team's achievement of eighth place in the Ironman Championship saying this achievement was a step towards qualifying for the World Championship next September in Croatia. His Highness stressed the importance of exerting more efforts in the next phase in order to reach higher levels in this sport. The Bahraini team was then honoured for their achievement. His Majesty the King deputised the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to attend a wedding reception held at Al Mishraf Palace in Abu Dhabi. The event was held under the patronage of the President of UAE, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, to celebrate the wedding of Sheikh Dr. Khalid bin Sultan bin Zayed Al Nahyan to the daughter of Abu Dhabi's ruler representative in the eastern region, Sheikh Tahnoun bin Mohammed Al Nahyan, in the participation of 108 newlywed couples from the UAE. His Highness Sheikh Khalid conveyed the congratulations of His Majesty the King to Sheikh Dr. Khalid bin Sultan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, along with his wishes of continued health, happiness and prosperity. He also affirmed the brotherly consolidated ties between Bahrain and UAE and wished him abundant health and happiness.
Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa participated today in the Council of Foreign Ministers preparatory meeting of the 13th session of the Islamic Summit Conference to be held under the theme Unity and Solidarity for Justice and Peace in Istanbul, Turkey on the 14th and 15th of April 2016. Topics on the agenda of the summit include a number of issues, most notably the Palestinian cause, the fight against terrorism, violent extremism and Islamophobia. The summit also dis will also discuss the humanitarian situation in the Islamic world and organization of Islamic cooperation's programs of action for 2016 to 2025, in addition to the final communique and Istanbul declaration. The summit aims to review the political, economic and social areas of the current international situation and discuss their implications on the Islamic world and how to address them. Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa met today with his Kyrgyzstan counterpart Arlan Abdul Dev on the sidelines of the 13th summit of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation OIC to be held in Istanbul in the Republic of Turkey on April 14th and 15th. The meeting reviewed the ways to cement bilateral relations, to promote common interests and further enhance cooperation between the two countries, as well as to increase coordination on all issues. For his part, Arlan Abdul Daif expressed appreciation and pride over the progress of the bilateral ties between the two countries, reiterating his country's resolve for a strong and mutually beneficial relationship. He invited Sheikh Khalid to visit Kyrgyzstan in line with both sides' goodwill to strengthen relations between the two friendly countries. Talks also extended to cover topics on the agenda of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation Summit, the latest regional and international developments and issues of common interest. Education Minister Dr. Majid bin Ali Al Naimi participated today in the opening of the fifth International Exhibition and Forum for Education, being held under the patronage of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, from the 12th to the 14th of April in Riyadh. More than 200 organizations from 20 countries are participating in the event, themed Invest in Education. International experts will address development and investment in education during a number of scheduled workshops. The Bahrain Education Ministry's pavilion displays achievements made during the National Education March, including His Majesty King Hamid's Schools of the Future Project, Digital Empowerment in Education and the Prince Khalifa bin Salman Award for Excellence in Educational Performance, as well as services provided for students of special needs. The minister said Bahrain's participation embodies the solid fraternal ties bonding the two kingdoms, noting both leadership's keenness on learning about the latest development projects in the field of education. Minister of Energy Dr. Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza inaugurated today the third International Pipeline Operation and Management Conference exhibition in the participation of more than 600 participants from 17 countries. The minister noted the importance of providing high quality pipelines for a safe transportation of fuel. He also affirmed that the National Oil and Gas Authority NOGA had taken the necessary, the necessary procedures regarding securing pipelines in national petroleum companies. The minister said the NOGA is in the pres process of implementing petroleum projects, including the transformation of the aviation fuel tanks from Arad to Bahrain International Airport, in addition to a project regarding new petroleum pipelines between the Kingdom and Saudi Arabia. First Deputy Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ali Al Aradi, chaired today the weekly meeting where the Council approved a proposal on the establishment of the Ministry of Planning and Scientific Research. The Council approved a suggestion on transforming the Bahrain Stock Exchange into an open joint stock company and a report on granting risk premium to the staff of the Drug Enforcement Administration. The Council also approved a report on amending the conditions of municipal councils and a report on providing Wi-Fi services in cities and streets of Bahrain.